the Great Barrier Reef. It is one of the seven wonders of the world. It was listed under World Heritage, which means it is protected by an organisation called UNESCO. It stretches for over 2,000 kilometres along Queensland's coast and contains almost 3,000 different reefs. It is also home to many animal and plant species and together they create ecosystems. An ecosystem is similar to a community and consists of both living organisms and their habitats. When regular patterns are disrupted, the ecosystem can begin to collapse, affecting all living life within that ecosystem. If one leak is threatened, or another grows too dominant, it sends shockwaves through the chain. So it is vital that we do our best to protect these areas. The Great Barrier Reef also helps us in many ways. It is an international tourism icon, and tourism means big business and lots of money for the economy. We also use the reef to bring big shipments in from overseas. But many factors are beginning to produce negative impacts on the lively coral reefs. So what is affecting the Great Barrier Reef? When Cyclone Ita crossed the far north Queensland coast in April, most people were spared its full intensity, but the Category 5 cyclone left a devastating trail of destruction on the Great Barrier Reef. Extreme weather, including heavy rainfall, floods and tropical cyclones, can severely impact marine life. Before and after footage showed just how much damage nature had inflicted on itself. Smashed and flattened areas where coral used to thrive reveal the devastating and colourless rubble. Whilst these areas displayed tremendous loss, much more of the reef remained unscathed by the cyclone. And over time, scientists hope the reef will rebuild its colourful self. One of the biggest natural threats to the Great Barrier Reef will find it easier to flourish if sea temperatures rise because of climate change. The crown of thorn starfish plays a vital role within healthy coral reefs, feeding on faster growing corals and allowing slower growing corals to form. However, a rise in ocean temperatures have played a part in the increasing number of starfish. Researchers and scientists have developed ways to counteract the issue by developing an injection that causes the starfish to break apart and die. Many organisations are researching the causes of the starfish outbreak in the hope that they will learn how to prevent them occurring and protect the reef from these thorny creatures. There are also other human related impacts including excessive fishing, oil spills and reef drenching, which bring harm to the reef's ecosystems. Coral bleaching, due to climate change, is also becoming a major issue. So how do we help protect the Great Barrier Reef? How are we as a society harming the reef? What things can you do at home or at school to reduce the risks to the reef? And why is it important to sustain the reef's health? 